The Reports tab enables you to generate CSV files of your data. You can create stream history reports and filter by site or by stream type. If you select streams of data by site, select the site or sites from the drop-down menu. Add streams from the drop-down menu of streams one by one, or use the Select All or Clear All buttons. Specify a start date and an end date for the time period. Click Export to CSV to query the database and generate the report. Utilize the Save Report Configuration feature to run reports in the feature using the same streams. Provide an identifiable name for the configuration and click Submit. These save reports are user-specific. You can open the downloaded CSV file using Microsoft Excel. The report includes the user's designated time zone as well as the corresponding site and stream names. Each data record appears with a date and timestamp in the user's local time zone and the corresponding value in coordinated universal time, more commonly referred to by the abbreviated UTC. There are also separate date and time columns based on the user's local time zone. Creating stream history reports by stream type will display streams of a specified type in the drop-down menu across all sites. You can add and remove streams individually or use select all and clear all. Note that site, stream type, and streams are not just selectable but also text searchable fields. Hover over the save report and use the green arrow to load the save configuration of streams. You can remove save reports at any time by clicking on the red X then submit. The Aggregation Reports feature allows you to perform basic statistical analysis on your data. Similar to stream history reports, you can select data streams from one or more sites and different types of data streams. Add and remove data streams one at a time or use the Select All and Clear All buttons as needed. The different types of analyses you can run on your data include sum, average, minimum value, maximum value, and standard deviation. Select the time period, statistical function, and aggregation interval. For example, you can output the hourly average value for a level measurement taken once every 15 minutes. The exported CSV file contains the aggregation interval, user specified time zone, the site name, and the one or more stream names. Each data record indicates the date, interval, and corresponding calculated value for the function. Just as with stream history reports, you can use searchable text by site name, stream type, and streams to select the desired datasets when building aggregation reports. Again, you can add and remove individual streams one at a time, or use the select all and clear all buttons. When adding two or more streams of the same type, with the same unit of measure, there is a separate streams option. Use this feature to run the function on the individual streams as opposed to across all of the streams. For example, if you add three temperature streams to an aggregation report, you can either take the hourly average readings for all three streams or individually for each stream. The first option would provide an output with one average for each time interval. The second option would provide an output with three average values for each time interval. Note that with aggregation reports, you can also use the save report configuration, so you can easily run either the same, similar, or entirely different queries on the specified group of data streams. You can open the downloaded CSV file using Microsoft Excel. Just as with stream history reports, the aggregation report includes the user's designated time zone as well as the corresponding site and stream names. The data records appear with the corresponding date and time interval. In this case, three sets of data appear for the average temperature values during each time interval as the separate streams option was selected. The custom stream history report allows you to configure the output of the CSV file. For a given data stream, you can select the time period using not just the date range, 
but also the hours, minutes, and second of those dates. Specify the delimiter text qualifier and choose whether to include or exclude a header row. For the values in the report, you can choose to round the timestamp for samples to the closest minute. You may also choose to round up by one minute. Select the data fields from the dropdown and click the add field button to include in the report. You can drag and drop the boxes to change the order of the fields. To remove a field from the report, click on the red X. You can optionally save the report setting as the default configuration. As an account owner, you can apply this default setting at the user, organization, or account level. For further discussion on users, organizations, and accounts, please refer to documentation on the account portion of the user interface.